All right, everybody. Radioactive here. I've got uh, I've got a, a Desperado here on the uh, on the desk, on the workbench, and I'm going to be going over some of the things in this blaster. Um, I've just opened it up, so I don't really have a good idea. So I'll be learning here with you as I'm making this video. Why are you flashing? Interesting. All right, well, um, first off, we have the spring rest here. It fits really well. That's not going to go anywhere. So that means that the bottommost area is about 18.2-ish millimeters. <clears throat> Excuse me. The spring itself is about 21.15 millimeters with about 1.5 millimeter uh, coil thickness. And we're about to do some counting. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, um, 14, 14 if you count the, uh, the last one, so, 14 coils, 1.5, so that would make it, um, 21 millimeter solid space for this spring, it is pretty, pretty easy, and in the blaster itself, let's put all this together again, Yeah, I believe it gets almost zero free compression. Yeah, that's like, that's like nothing. Um, so, you, I bet there's a uh, space to do a spacer. Um, okay, interesting. Interesting, that's... Some thick lube on that, but it doesn't actually seem to go past. That's interesting. It doesn't really seem to go past this. So um, a slightly bigger. Oh, it's got a really interesting pattern on there. So I bet a thicker O-ring will really be nice. Is this? Nope. You can just pull that out. Cool. Yeah, that's got no seal at all. Zilch. Um, this blaster has no air restrictor. It's also got this interesting little silicone gasket that Dart Zone, um, Dart Zone did a similar thing for its outlaw. I wonder if that comes off. And it comes off pretty easily. And goes on just as easily. So, I would imagine if you've destroyed this, you could actually, um, message Dart Zone and try and get them to send you something. But yeah, terrible seal. No seal. I can feel that coming out um, from the back here. So um, Let's see what the inner diameter is for the plunger tube. Um, approximately a little bit less than 27 millimeters. So um, I believe that's around a hammer shot. Huh. We're about to test something. Hold on here. Uh, where's my hammer shot upgrade? Um, here we go. Doing this right here, right now. That might be the exact same size, actually. Oh, that gets a seal. Interesting. Hmm. Cool. Well, we're probably going to test that in a moment. Oh, uh, shit. So, um, this blaster gets approximately 60 FPS. Um, like 55 to 65-ish. It's pretty good. Very good. It's a really good seal. Um... 
let's test out what the all right so that's where the minimum is right there um, I'm going to go ahead where's my there's honey where's my sharpie ah that's where it goes to okay Alright, and then oh, that just pulled something out. The hell are you? Oh, that's the okay. What just came out is the rotator lock. Keep it from spinning freely. Okay, interesting. Ah, interesting how that works. I don't know how well you can see that. Let's just remove this real quick. Okay, pretty standard rotator type of system. This looks to be a screw. Um, if you look through the bottom of here, that's probably a screw. Or it's... I don't see it being multiple... So interesting here. Um, that looks <laughs> that looks vaguely um <laughs> how about that? It's slightly bigger than uh no, the outlaw uh, cylinder is slightly bigger. Just barely. Mm. That's interesting. And it's around the same shape and design too. Um, so let's check this again. So it being like this. Right there. All right. This looks like a really easy blaster to work on despite it being a double action mechanism. Um, so then. Let's see what the draw is. Uh, it looks to be it looks to be forty eight five. Huh. That's actually really good volume. But this could be a pretty powerful blaster. <clears throat> um, so, if that, if that moves back 48 millimeters, let's see, I'm about, to, I'm, I'm getting real technical here. So that moves back to there. So that means that there is um, 20, about 24, oh, let's fix it. About 24 uh, millimeters of space from uh, the end of the spring or bottom of the spring guide to here and then to the inside. There's about 59 and a half mil, uh, millimeters, so total 
That is, um, I'm sorry, 83, 73, 83. I'll do all the math at the end of this. Um, but that is a lot. So you could, knowing that this has 21 millimeters solid, you couldn't put like 50 millimeters of spacer on this. Well, I guess it'd really be 24, probably be better. But yeah, that seems like a lot. So there's an idea. Um, very interesting. So let's look at this mechanism now. Ooh. Interesting. It's a really nice mechanism. All right, so it looks like that the rotator arm is connected here. Um, there is a pivot that pushes this all the way back, releasing this. Um, and there is, uh, it's, it's allowed to move so that it, um, if it's not allowed to go all the way forward, it will not interact with it. This up here moves downwards to ensure a really nice, that has a lot of movement, to ensure a really nice um, interaction with the with the rotator. So um, now that it's mostly pulled apart, I'm going to go ahead and put it back together with the new O-ring on it which seems to have really improved the seal. So let's do all that, put all this together. It's actually super simple. I'm really surprised. I really like that. Um, This does seem to move just a little bit to allow rotation, nice rotation. My hands are a little bit lubricated up, so it's difficult. Um, that, that, got it. That does seem to be um, perfectly double-sided, so it can go in either direction. You don't have to worry about that. Right. Um, this front piece can actually go on separately. So, if you were to only want to mess with this, you only have to remove one, two, three, four, eight um, screws instead of all 12 or 11. Can't do math, apparently. All right, so I'm now going to put this all together and get some FPS numbers with the, um, the O-ring, the new O-ring in it, see if that helps at all. Um, remember, it did hit 55 to 65 or so FPS. We'll be right back. All right, so a very simple O-ring change um, increased the performance from about 60 FPS average to 75 FPS average with a high in the low 80s. Remember, using Adventure Force Waffle Darts, which are typically 5 to 10 FPS down on Elite Darts. So, I bet very, very easily this blaster can get 110. 100% this blaster can get 110 without a new spring, just the O-ring replacement, maybe a new cylinder. It's going to be, I feel like it's actually going to be a very good blaster. Um... The only problem I have with it is that, this is probably going to be loud for you, you see how much that moves when I pull? 
So it's got the rate of fire. It has some power to it. But I don't think that it's going to actually... Like, the accuracy is not going to be that good because every time you pull the trigger, you pull up or pull to the side. Um, rate of fire and performance will be there. It's not going to have as many options as the hammer shot for cylinders just because of all this going on up here. But I feel like it will be very solid. It, it's going to be a really nice blaster to use. Uh, I'm really excited to start work on it. Um, hell, you might see some stuff by the, well, I guess it's Sunday when I'm making this, probably going to be Sunday when I upload it. Yeah, I imagine that there'd be some more stuff I'm going to, there's going to be some stuff I'm going to work on it for, or with, whatever. Um, if you want to see all that, remember to like, subscribe. Um, it's really helpful. I really hope you've learned something from this, um, this deeper dive into the internals uh, of this blaster. Um... Uh, I'm radioactive, and I hope you have a great day.